We are starting muzzle training with Miss Bailey. I have a size five Baskerville muzzle for her. Yes. Uh, she's likely not ever been introduced to one of these. So anytime she shows interest in it whatsoever, I'm gonna start, yes. Uh, marking with a yes and then rewarding her. I have some grilled chicken up here for this girl. Uh, she, yes, she just arrived at my house uh, the day before yesterday. So she is not quite settled in yet. She has got a little bit higher uh, stress levels than if she were uh, settled in a little bit more, but I want to get her out and kind of get her integrated with the other dogs as quickly as possible um, as she's ready for it. And therefore I want to kind of start training with her, start building a bond with her and get her muzzle conditioned and muzzle trained so that she can enjoy that a little more safely. She's staring at the cats over there on the counter. Yes. Good job. So in your first muzzle training a dog, really the biggest thing you want to do is just reward any interaction with the muzzle at all. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do this. My preference is to for the dog to feel as comfortable and willing as possible with the muzzle. Uh, because typically when people muzzle train a dog, it's to help them overcome already uncomfortable situations. So I don't particularly like adding the discomfort of a muzzle to the situation as well as whatever uh, challenges the dog might already have with it. Yes. Cats are very distracting, huh? That's okay. And I'm actually, you can't see very well probably over there, but I'm going to put some muzzle, or not some muzzle, some food inside the muzzle and have her put her face in to get it. Oh, yes, there you go. I'm gonna step on her leash. Oh, she can't get away to get the cat. Bailey. I'm going to put this inside again. She can't get it from the front. She has to get it from inside. There's chicken. Yes. Good girl. And I'm going to pull it away every time. So I'm going to do that several times until she starts offering the behavior. Come on. Good girl. There's a chicken right here. Yes. And this is her very, very first introduction with this, so it's gonna look a lot more all over the place, and you know, it's not gonna look like a perfect front to back thing, which is kind of okay, because most people who are starting this process, yes, aren't gonna have a dog who looks perfect right out the gate. Yes, good girl. I'm not preventing her from pulling her face out as soon as she's done. At this point, I just want her putting her face in, yes. Good girl. Now she's putting her face in and shoving it in uh, before I've even put the chicken in there, really. So I'll kind of put it down here where I can hopefully show you. Yes, now I'm putting the chicken in. Good job. There you go. That's very nice. Now she's all in. She's like, yeah, this is great. Now she's figured out. It's easy to win, huh? Yes, good girl. That's good. Over here, where people can see you. Yes, good job. Muzzle, yes. So she's starting to offer the behavior a little bit more, so I'm gonna start naming the behavior uh, and saying muzzle to her. Muzzle, yes, good girl. You didn't get your chicken that time. You wanna try again? Muzzle, yes, good girl. And that will help me name the behavior that I want and ask for her to put her face in the muzzle um, when I go to dress her up and put it on when we're doing other things with it. Yes, good girl. Muzzle, yes. That's very nice. Muzzle, yes. Muzzle, yes. Good girl. Muzzle, yes. Figured out that's the easiest way to get food. Shove my face in this basket thing. Muzzle? Yes. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. And she's pushing pretty hard into it, which is actually what I want. 
Yes, I don't want her to be shy about putting her face in it at all. And this muzzle's slightly too big for her, yes. But it'll still get the job done of teaching her what, what a muzzle is and how to feel comfortable with it on her face. Yes, good girl, you did it. Muzzle, yes, good girl. And some dogs are not gonna go this quickly. They're not gonna feel this comfortable this fast. Um, Bailey, with the help of chicken, thankfully, that's helping her feel comfortable quickly. The timing of the mark, um, the handling on my end, or you know anybody who's more experienced with behavior will tend to get faster results, but that doesn't mean that you will not get any results because your dog is more shy or, yes, or that your dog is uh, just a little more apprehensive. It just might mean, you, yes, you need to spend a lot more time rewarding them for interacting with the muzzle um, and luring them in, maybe smearing peanut butter on the inside and just giving it to them, uh, supervised, of course, so they don't chew it apart and really helping them become comfortable with the muzzle itself. Bailey had no negative association previously with the muzzle at all, so she, uh, once she figured out chicken was coming out of it, was like, oh, okay, this is a great thing. She's super happy about it. Are you done? I'll scratch myself. Muzzle. Yes, <laughs> good girl. And I'm not gonna make these sessions very long. I'm just gonna feed her, yes, the rest of this chicken and then we'll be done. So I might start strapping, yes, strapping it up. So I kind of moved the strap around her face and she pulled her face out to see what was happening. Yes, yes. So that time while I was feeding her, I moved the strap up, not to strap it up, just for her to feel the strap around the back of her neck because initially she pulled it out to see what was touching her. And I want her to know that she can be comfortable with that thing touching her behind her neck. Come back here. Thank you, muzzle. Yes. Good job. And I'll do the other side. That way you guys can see it just a little bit easier. So I have the muzzle ready. Muzzle. Yes. And there's some food in there. So I'm pulling the strap up on the side and touching the back of her neck while she eats the food. Yes. And then I'm going to pull it off. There we go. Look, here's another one. Muzzle. She's like, I found some chicken pieces on the floor. Here we go. Right here. Muzzle. Yes. Good girl. So now I've got it wrapped all the way around. I'm holding the clip together. Yes. You couldn't really see her in there, but I did wrap the, the clip entirely around. So basically, I'll keep progressing like that um, with her each time with chicken until I have all those behaviors solid. And that's when I start building up to not really rewarding with chicken for her putting her face in the muzzle, but I would move to more difficult things that I'm rewarding uh, because she'd at that point be really good at putting her face. Oh, you're adorable. Um, putting her face in the muzzle. So at that point, I would start rewarding her keeping her face in the muzzle or putting her face in multiple times and getting really, really uh, enthusiastic about offering the behavior before I reward her or potentially even um, rewarding her only when I clip it fully or rewarding her when I start having her move and walk on a leash with the muzzle on. Yes, good girl. Oh, that was tangled, huh? Yes. Yes, so I've got the clip up here at top while she's eating this, rubbing it on her head. You can kind of see it maybe. Yes, good girl, you did it. What a good job. So that's the end of her muzzle, first muzzle training session. I'm gonna do a couple of those with her, um, at least through the week when I have time. Otherwise, you know, do other stuff like walking in and whatnot with her. But I wanted to show you guys that process. Hi. Uh, that way you guys can maybe get an idea on where to start with your dogs if your dogs are struggling with aggression issues or you're afraid they might bite the vet or you're afraid that they're going to get themselves in trouble or maybe they just eat a million socks and they're going to get sick from it. So you don't want them to be able to eat all that stuff um, if you take your eyes off them for two seconds. Oh, you're such an attention hog. Um, anyway, that's kind of a rough go at it and I will get you several more videos of other dogs going through the same process. That way you can kind of see like uh, troubleshooting of different temperaments and different types because some dogs are going to be much more comfortable with it than others. But she's completely green. I've only known her for about a day. Um, so I wanted to get a fresh video showing the process with her. Baby, baby, come on.